In trading, you're gonna constantly hear about patterns, 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 and you need to recognize good patterns versus mediocre patterns. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about two patterns to focus on as well as two patterns to avoid. Welcome back everyone, lead trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Um, you're gonna hear patterns, patterns, patterns all the time in day trading, swing trading, and even investing. And there's hundreds of patterns out there. You should, uh, you know, we, we've reviewed many books on the Steady Trade podcast, as well as in our YouTube videos about locating chart patterns. A, a favorite book of mine is Japanese Candlesticks by Steve Neeson. Now there are tons and tons of chart patterns in there. You should use that as a reference. But at the end of the day, especially in momentum stocks, one of the things we like is there's only a handful of patterns that tend to repeat, repeat, and repeat. And uh, you know, if you, again, if you listen to the Steady Trade podcast, we we drive home that idea of finding your one setup, your one thing that consistently works for you. Then expand to two, then expand to three, etc. So I want to talk to you about two chart patterns that you should look for, that you should immediately add to your repertoire, and two patterns that you should ignore. Number one is what we call the clean chart. I mean, it's kind of a vague uh, term. I'm sure if you're new to trading, you look at any stock chart and you think, geez, there's stuff all over the place. It looks messy to me. What's a clean chart? Well, when we say clean chart, we're looking for a stock that is breaking out of previous levels. So say a stock has gone from one to two, back to one, back to two, back to one, back to 250, back to two. You know, it's, it's this kind of up and down, uh, sideways, up and down pattern. And then at some point that stock, if it has news or a catalyst, can break out of those levels. That's what we refer to as a clean chart because now you've really got, for lack of a better term, blue sky above. Now, it doesn't mean that that stock will continue to go higher, but you have to put your mind in the psychology of the long-term traders, of the day traders that have been stuck in this stock through those ups and downs. They finally see that breakout to new levels. They get excited. They add to their new positions. There's tons of traders using stock scanners out there, which if you're not using stocks to trade, you should definitely check it out because it allows you to spot these clean breakouts. So now, once it breaks out of that channel, we call it, it shows up on everybody's radar. So you've got new buyers coming in. You've got that, you've got those bag holders, those long-term holders that are like, woohoo, we're at new, new highs. Let me buy more stock. More buyers means the potential for the stock to go higher. Then the other reason we like that clean chart is it gives you a clear stop loss. So um, I know I'm doing the hand gestures, but you know as you see those peaks, as the stock continues to peak out at a level and then it breaks through that, you've got a very clearly defined stop loss. If that stock falls back to that level, it's now a failed breakout, it's a failed clean chart, you know that, okay, I tried this trade, it didn't work, I stop out. Remember, one of the biggest parts of trading, being successful, being consistent, is taking small stop losses, controlling your losses, and moving on to the next trade. A losing trade is never a bad trade if you research the process and you stuck to your stop loss. The only bad trade is when you are wrong, and you're gonna be wrong a million times in your career, but the bad trade is when you're wrong and you stay in the trade. So look for those clean charts, use stocks to trade to spot. The next, my favorite pattern, is what we call the parabolic, the supernova, the, you know, there's a million different terms for it. This is those charts that, you know, particularly in low float stocks, we see this pattern several times a week, sometimes several times a day. And you can use stocks to trade to spot these with the pre-built scanners. But the great about the thing about this pattern is you're looking for these stocks that have been dead forever. You know, they basically have done nothing 
and then an event comes out, they're in a hot sector, um, they get some sort of a catalyst, whether that be a contract or an earnings announcement, and they just go up, quote unquote, ridiculous. Maybe 100%, 200%, 300% on the day. These are the patterns that we look for because the volume comes in, you'll see record volume, you'll see a huge move. These are great patterns. If you have risk management to buy into the close, they're what's, what we call a gapper. These are the types of setups that tend to continue going the next day because everybody gets home at night, they do their research, they see this big gainer, they see the news, and they wanna buy in the next morning. So you recognize that ahead of the herd, you buy into the close, these stock, stocks in the supernova pattern tend to run for multiple days, you sell into those spikes, and then you just look to repeat that over and over again. So keep an eye out for the, the clean chart as well as the supernova. And then the last two I wanna talk about are chip patterns to avoid. First is what we call a messy chart. Uh, I'm amazed at the number of people that will try and you know look for these stocks that are just stuck in a range. They might see news, but remember, unless the stock is exploding higher, ignore the news. So many traders make this mistake of believing the press release. Remember, low price stocks, well, all stocks, I mean, they're, they're publicly traded because they need to sell shares. You know, they need to sell stock to fund operations, to pay employees, you know, to do all these, to, to just buy raw materials even. So they're there to sell stock. So if you believe a press release on a stock that isn't moving, you'll be stuck, it will go sideways, you will hate your life. Avoid those charts that don't break out. Jump back in this video where I talked about the clean chart. When I talked about that choppy area, you don't buy until it breaks out on news. And then the last pattern is, you know, you'll hear many traders like Tim Sykes call this the crow. I just call it an ugly chart as you know, in, in the opposite of the clean chart. This is just that long-term downtrending chart where, I mean, the stock was $100 a year ago, it was $50 six months ago, it's $5 a month ago, and it's 50 cents today. I'm not sure why, but there's a certain allure to newbies, you know, you'll, you'll hear, buying on a discount, you know, oh, you're buying the stock at 50 cents today, it was $100 a year ago, you're getting it on sale. Remember, a stock went from $100 to 50 cents for a reason. It's probably a terrible company. It's probably selling shares to just desperately stay alive. The odds of these stocks bouncing is so low. They do bounce occasionally, but you're better off buying a lottery ticket or going to Vegas because 99 out of 100 of them, or 999 out of 1,000 of them, never bounce. So avoid those long-term downtrending charts. So again, two patterns to look for, two to ignore. Comment below, what's your favorite pattern? Do you, do you try and buy stocks at 52 week lows hoping they bounce? Or do you look for those clean charts? Or what other patterns do you look for? The doji, the head and shoulders. There's a million chart patterns out there. Comment below and let me know what your favorite is. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.